Hello guys, PJ here, hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to a new Shiba Inu video, Shiba Inu no Shiba Inu update. In this one, we're going to take a look once again at Shiba Inu at the short. Is Shiba Inu looking bullish or bearish? Take a look at the whole crypto market and find some great opportunities. So if we take a look at Shiba Inu to start, we can see that Shiba Inu is down 4.95%, still having those pullbacks, those healthy corrections, not really moving. If you take a look here, I'm just going to do this. Bams. And show you the chart here. If you take a look at the daily chart for Shiba Inu, you can see that it's just consolidating, having a downward trend here, consolidating, having some little gains here, but um, it's still in the red 5%, plus minus 5%. If we take a look at the whole market in general, the whole market is down 1% almost. Bitcoin is in the green, that's nice to see, but only 0.02%. Cardano in the green, 1.60. Ethereum still in the red, 2 down. BNB still in the red. XRP still in the red. Dutch is getting some great levels. Dutch had a lot of volume because some great news came out for Dutch with, um, with Vitalik and Elon Musk. And that just caused Dutch to have a lot of trading volume in the last past hours, which caused Dutch to be up 1.20. Polkadot is down 1.30 and we're still in the top gainers of the day. We have here Solano up 20% almost. So Solano is still getting some really, really great gains. Same with Terra. Terra is up 14%. But those two ones have just had some amazing couple of days here for Solano and Terra. And we talked about them a couple of days ago before all of that happened. So that was really nice to see such great movement. If you take a look at the last seven days for Solano, just amazing, amazing gains. You can see it was at 43 last week it's currently at currently almost at 80 so almost doubled in the last past days in the last week which is really really great to see and uh, awesome to see for people holding solano same with terra also amazing gains in the last seven days if you take a look here at the last seven days for terra terra was trading around 17 and it's all the way up here to, to 28 so almost doubled when it will reach the, the mid 30s, that's going to be amazing. But Solano and Terra just had some amazing gains. They have some pullbacks, but they keep on getting new all time highs. So that's really, really great to see. You can see the seven days up 70% and Solana up 80. So those are the two big winners here in the top 20 for all the cryptocurrencies. The rest is trading almost in the red. So you can see that the whole market is still recovering, still having some healthy pullbacks. So um, now the question is, when will the next big run come? A lot of people are speculating that Bitcoin will go down to 42,000, 40,000, and from there go back to 50,000. So um, we'll just have to wait and see and see what scenario plays out. So um, I heard yesterday a great video about, from Benjamin Cohen talking about the next key levels to look out for and just um, what will be the next big bull run, when will be the next big bull run for Bitcoin and for the whole market. He says that there are three possibilities, three scenarios that um, the next big bull run can come September, October, it can come November, December or mid 2022. So those are the three big days to look out for, for a massive run to the new all time highs for the whole market in general. And uh, for let's hope for Shiba Inu also, which would be just awesome. So um, that's to respond to the question because a lot of people have been asking when will the next big run happen? When will just new all time highs happen? And when will just the massive rally really really start because we see some tokens that are starting to have some amazing gains like for example solano like avalanche also like terra but ethereum bitcoin still having some pullbacks cardano had a great run but it's still having some pullbacks same with xrp so um it's not really going all the way up to the moon so um that's gonna be um we're gonna have to be patient for that and see will it happen in September, October, will it happen in December, November, or will it happen in mid 2022? But um, this will be amazing. He says that it's he can see Ethereum, for example, go between all the way from seven, eight thousand to ten thousand. Some people even speculate Ethereum at twenty thousand. I think that a, a ten thousand Ethereum would be really, really great. Same thing with Bitcoin. A hundred thousand Bitcoin would be really great. A hundred fifty would be even better. But um, those are some great numbers. Some people are saying a million dollar that will be maybe harder to reach for Bitcoin this cycle, but we can expect some major gains. Also, I would love to see Dutch have a rally because that's been a long time. Same thing with Chainlink, with Polkadot, that will also be amazing. And our friend Shiba Inu also to just have a massive rally to new all-time highs. It will be amazing for the whole market. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out on Solano here, on Luna, who's now also with the W Luna available on Coinbase. So that's been amazing to see. And now you can see here, 
All the projects, all the other ones are going down 1%. Avalanche here up 20. Avalanche is, keeps on growing, keeps on growing. That's really nice to see. XC down 4 today. And uh, yeah, the whole market is recovering, having some healthy pullbacks. And the big winners of the day right here are Avalanche, Solano, and Luna once again. You can see our friend Shiba Inu at 41. So let's see if Shiba Inu will reclaim those 20s, 30s levels. Or if it stay in the 40s, it would be great for Shiba Inu to have Shiba Inu go back to the 30s. You can see it's at 3.2 here. Billion, the next one on the list at 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.6. So if we get a massive rally for Shiba Inu that causes Shiba Inu to go to 4 billion more cap, I would, wouldn't be surprised to see it go almost in the 30s. That would be amazing. So I'm here you can see Avalanche maybe also growing in the 20s. And uh, maybe have Luna and our friend here, Solano, stay in the top 10. Luna go in the top 10 and maybe Solano go towards the top 5, top 6. That would be great. But um, yeah, there's still a long, a, lot, a, lo a long, long, long way to go. And uh, we still will probably see also so all those top ones have a massive rally. So that's going to be amazing to see and amazing to follow. So yeah, this is the update of the day. Market is still looking like it's recovering, steady, steady pullback, steady corrections, steady consolidation, very healthy looking right now. Some people are saying that it's looking weak and that um, it misses some action, but um, there are some amazing gains for Luna, for, for Solana, so that is amazing. Now let's just wait for Ethereum and Bitcoin to start to wake up and uh, start and remind people the, the kings that they are, Bitcoin and Ethereum, and, um, and then we'll see probably the whole market be very, very bullish. So very curious to see for Bitcoin, still above 45,000, that's great. Ethereum still above 3,000, that's also great. Cardano up 2, also great. So um, now we'll just have to, to wait and see if uh, Bitcoin will go back to 42, and then from there go all the way up to 50, maybe 55, 56, and start to rally from there. Maybe that will happen end of the month. Maybe that will happen near September. And maybe that's when people say that a big bull run will come in September, October, all the way to the end of the year. And maybe then have a pullback and uh, the bear market and the end of the cycle will start from there. We'll have to wait and see. I think it will be great. Either way, we'll have to be patient and see what can happen for the whole market and for Bitcoin. So um, that's going to be great. And also for Shiba Inu. Let's see if Shiba Inu can keep on following the market. So that's it for today's update. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can leave a like, you can subscribe. Remember that everything I said is for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for everything. Thank you for your support. If you have any questions, tell me in the comments. If you want me to take a look at some projects, tell me in the comments. You can also follow me on Instagram. You can send me emails and um, yeah, tell me what you think about all of that. Tell me what you think about Bitcoin, about the whole market and about Shiba Inu. Once again, remember that everything I said is for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for everything and I'll see you in the next one.